Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about the Niffin, the new faction coming to our aid in 10.1. With only 20 renown levels, this will be a quick one compared to the Tuscar and the Verdraken. But that doesn't mean they don't have some nice goodies for us. So let's get into it. Now it's safe to say, spoilers ahead. Everything I'm going to talk about comes from the 10.1 PTR and also various data mined sources. I will try and simply talk about the rewards, but there is always a chance we're going to touch upon story aspects. And I understand a lot of you may wish to avoid such spoilers until you can try them out for yourself with your main when this all goes live. So you have been warned. Now with that public service announcement out of the way, for those of you still here, let's dive into the Niffin. Now, renown rank 2, we gain access to bartering. We can speak to Karen in Veldraken to barter, and speak to Ponzo in Loam to trade. If you're wondering what the hell is Loam, well, this is Loam, the Nephin village inside the giant cavern under the Dragon Isles. That is probably going to become our home in 10.1. Now, bartering seems. I said this with air gradations to be like the coins for the Great Swog. Shameless plug to this video if you don't know who the Great Swog is. But basically you can take coins and collect items that the Swog has on offer. It seems to be something very similar here with barter boulders being a thing. Interesting, broken barter boulders seem to be the new dragon knowledge buffs in 10.1. Yeah, still a lot to be learnt here. So, um, yeah, keep an eye on this one. Renown 3. This is a big one if you care about your gear and loot and so on. Upon speaking to Imrup in Loam, we receive a Drake Shadowflame Crest. I've spoken about these before in another video. Basically, they're the new item to upgrade gear, replacing Valor. But now working on all endgame items apart from PvP, which will be kept separate. These crests are going to enable you to upgrade a piece of gear to 424 item level. And if you give it to your enchanter buddy, they will be able to make you an enchanted version. It can be used to upgrade your crafted gear to 242. Nice. Also at 3, and this is another big one, we receive a pile of flight stones. It is not clear at this time if you need Renown 3 to unlock the Gathering of Flightstones, or if this is just going to be a nice little bonus. Either way, getting more Flightstones is going to be huge, as this is the currency that's going to enable us to keep upgrading our gear. Yeah, we've got Flightstones and Crests now. We're not going to get into it here. On to Renown 4. You can acquire Sniffing Salts now. It's unclear, but I'm going to guess there's something in the lines of back in Classic, way back when, there was an item called Powerful Smelling Salts that never actually made it into the game, and it enabled you to res somebody outside of combat. I'm wondering if the Sniffing Salts are going to be used for those that cannot res people, that don't have that spell, now they're just going to be able to carry Smelling Salts, and if they're outside of combat, boom, able to resurrect friends. This could be very handy in M+. Renown 5, you can gain some more appearances for your new Drake Watcher mount. Renown 6, you can gain Niffin Nig Diggin Diggin D Niffin Diggin Mitts. There we go, it's easy for me to say. I don't know if these are based on the Zelda item, with the name being like a little nod to that, but best guess is these are probably going to be like the Expedition Shovels, you've been able to dig up treasure and various other items in the cavern. Also at Renown 6, we gain another stack of Flight Stones. Thank you. Renown 7, Snail Racing. Yeah, I uh, I did just say Snail Racing. That's a thing at Renown 7, you can join in on, so yeah. Renown 8, Niffin Equipment. You can now acquire Combat Chests from Marl in Lamb. These will give you an eye level 405 item, nice for catch up. Renown 9, Maret, will now aid you in finding better items while Sniff Seeking. Again, I'm guessing something like Tuscar boxes or dig spots we currently have, but with a little bit more mole flavor. Renown 10. They are starting to like us so. Renown 10, they've given us access to the Niffin Tabard. 
Strange the more people felt the need to create a tabard, but we'll take it. I'm sure I've got room in my bank vault for another tabard. Please make tabards cosmetic. We also gain worthy ally, meaning just like the current factions, our alts gain 100% renown buff until level 10. Renown 11! We gain access to the Niffin wheelbarrow. Uh, yes, uh, again, you did hear me right. This is apparently going to aid us in researchers under fire event. So there you go. Renown 12! A big one for all profession crafters out there at 12. You can purchase a crafting knowledge. I will assume this time as we only have one faction, all crafting professions will gain this knowledge at the same time. Butter bottles will also become more effective at being used as well, um, bartering tools. Renown 13, another selection of Drake Watcher appearances, unlocked for the new mount. Renown 14, the next selection of Niffin gear unlocks, you must access to 415 eye level gear. Renown 15, Meet the Beatles. Uh, yes, uh, I'm going to do this. Just give me a second. Oh, God. Um, all right, you can now purchase Pauly and Rango, your Beetle Batty, but your bit. I can't. Your Beetle Battle Bug friends. Renown 16. Let's just move on. Renown 16. You can now wear the slightly dirty, dug up black Dragonflight cosmetic armor. Renown 17, another pile of flight stones is heading your way. Plus, Barter Boulder Gift. You receive a very heavy gift. Renown 18, a selection of Niffin cosmetic tools are available. Also, you may acquire the Mosul Sniffer Mount. Renown 19, we have the final selection of princes for our Drake Watcher Mount. And finally, last of all, Renown 20. We gain a heroic raid level. Rem Shadow Flame Crest, upping our chosen item two four three seven. Of course, we gain our next worthy ally upgrade, boosting reputation by one hundred percent when below renown twenty and two hundred percent when below renown ten. Finally, and most definitely not least, for gaining every single renown rank, the Niffin have kindly honoured us by bestowing upon our champion of Azeroth shoulders the title of Smelly. Um, yeah. Smelly will become a title that you can gain. Kind of wished I had a character called Cheese now, but oh well. And that is it! Every reward for gaining their ranks with the Niffin. As I said at the start, this is on the PTR. 10.1 is still a while away. So things may be subject to change, they might be moved around or just removed altogether. But what do you think so far? Is there anything that stands out to you as something that you really want to target and get? Or are you more of the, ah, oh, I can't be bothered with the reps, I'll just wait until Blizzard just give them to me, I get boosted, whatever, I don't care. Personally, I will say there seems to be a lot more fun items in this, but the knowledge boost and the upgrade crests are just going to be very hard to resist for me. Anyway, I've gone on long enough. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in the next video. Ladies, everyone.